Nikon have released some big news into the camera world about the Z1 or the Z5 or whatever the Z it is. Whatever news we have on it, we're gonna share with you today in this video. Let's roll that intro. Hey guys and welcome to Ben's Guide, your guide to the best news, reviews and how-tos from the world of photography and video. Things are really hotting up in the world of mirrorless cameras. The photography giants are putting their gloves on and battling it out to produce the best mirrorless cameras. Nikon kicked things off last year releasing the Z6 and the Z7, two really solid, well-performing mirrorless cameras. Of course, before this, we had Sony releasing the A7 range, also another range of really exceptional mirrorless cameras. Then Canon sluggishly joined the party with the EOS R, which is a good camera, but it was lacking a few of the features found on the Nikons and the Sonys. Now fast forward to today though, and we have another Canon mirrorless camera. This is the EOS RP, a full frame budget mirrorless camera which has been aimed at people with a little less money to spend on photography gear. So there's some good and there's some bad, because the Canon EOS RP was released after the EOS R and it's cheaper. So the good is you now have access into the world of the full frame lenses like the RF range, which are exceptionally good. Unfortunately, the bad news is the camera's cheap, but it also lacks a lot of features. So anyone that's interested in doing video, probably stay the hell away from the camera because it doesn't even shoot 24 frames per second at 1080p. And if you're shooting 4K, it doesn't have the dual pixel autofocus. So you're more than likely going to be having focusing issues. If you're a photographer though, the good news is it's a budget full frame mirrorless camera that does actually perform very well. So Nikon were never going to let this slide, were they? They had to come out with a camera to compete with the EOS RP. Now the news is at the moment they haven't released this camera and they're unlikely to release it for quite a while, probably till the end of the year. What we do know is it's going to be a Z series camera and it's been rumored to be a Z5 or a Z1. It was actually confirmed by Nikon China that they are going to be releasing a camera to rival the EOS RP. So this is something that's happening. We just don't know what specs it's going to have and we don't know the exact price range. But we do know if it's going to rival the Canon, it's sure to be a very similar price. If you're a Nikon shooter, this has got to be good news if you want access into the full frame mirrorless world, especially if you don't have a very large budget. And one thing I've got to say about Nikon is they've been producing great cameras for a long time. They don't usually hold back on features like we've been experiencing with Canon lately. So I'm sure that when this camera is released, it's going to have some quite inspiring and good specs, probably to more than match the Canon, um, as Canon EOS RP doesn't have many good specs. Oh, did I mention we have a picture of what could potentially be the prototype version of this camera? Check this out. So we're looking forward to hearing about future updates of the Nikon Z something. Whatever it's going to be, we know it's going to be a rival to the Canon. So no doubt there's going to be more information released over the coming months and you can be sure that we will be on it and delivering this to you in the form of a video, just like you're watching right now. If you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like today's video, stay the hell away from the dislike button. I don't want you touching it. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit subscribe for new videos every single week. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure you have a good one. And we'll see you in the next video.